Hello, and welcome to Cretus Academy. This webinar will explore the Cretus Polyurethane High Shine product line, or PolyHS. It will give you the information necessary to choose the perfect polyurethane coating for your needs, how to plan, prep, and apply the coating, as well as how to access this information on our website. We begin at Cretus.com. Under the products dropdown, you will find a list of our poly-based products, or polys. From there, select polyurethane. This will take you to the homepage for polyurethane. Here you will find links for the product guide, technical data sheet, color chart, and general overview, a list of safety data sheets, the advantages wheel, kit sizes, and a smaller image of the color chart. A quick overview of polyurethane. It is a two component product consisting of part A resins and part B hardeners. It is 10 times stronger than epoxy has better chemical resistance than polyaspartic. It is UV stable and can be used indoors or outside in areas that receive direct sunlight. It's available in high performance or HP and high shine or HS. For this video, we are going to focus on polyurethane HS, starting with our kit sizes. Poly HS has a gloss finish and is available with hardener options HSEZ and HSFC. A standard kit size for poly HS is one gallon of A and one half gallon of B. There are two other kit sizes, 15 gallons and 150 gallons. Polyurethane HP and HS have the same product guide. They are both two component systems recommended for high traffic areas, such as forklift loading zones, drive aprons, and commercial walkways. Poly HP protects underlying systems against stains, chemical spills, and UV degradation at five mils thick. Poly HS is similar in its protective properties, but can be applied up to 16 mils thick. Page one of the product guide has a list of system applications, such as UV stable decorative systems and protective top coats. It can be used in a wide variety of products, including industrial, commercial, and residential. Advantages including antimicrobial, hot tire, scratch, UV, chemical and stain resistance, high traffic tolerance, easy to clean and maintain, and waterproofing. There are some detailed limitations and things to avoid during the application. Not letting material puddle on the floor. Adding polycolorant may reduce working time by five minutes. To counteract this, you can add solvent cleaner to dilute the mixture and extend the working time. For custom orders, look under the project planning tab and select special order form. This should be completed and submitted to your John Don representative before the project begins. Page 2 of the product guide has charts with information on how to select the correct polyurethane for your needs. For steps 1 and 2, pick products with the same two letters in the product name. Example, you choose HS as Part B, select either HSEZ or HSFC as your Part A. Chart 1 lists the two polyurethanes. Choose based on the type of application required. Let's take a closer look at these two products and some specific reasons why you would choose one over the other. Polyurethane is an incredible and versatile coating. HP can be installed as a top coat in pharmaceutical facilities, commercial auto garages, high traffic, high forklift areas, outdoor stadium facilities, water treatment plants, and so much more. It is Cretus's strongest aliphatic top coat. HS is good for larger projects like airplane hangars, parking garages, and retail logistics warehouses. Because of its very long working time, HSEZ is the most user-friendly top coat we offer. Even the least experienced installers can achieve a roller mark free top coat with perfect color consistency. FC is great for smaller areas. It has the fastest working time of all of our poly products and can have a return to service time of less than five hours in certain systems. It is important to note that poly HS has a much stronger odor than HP. Make sure there is proper ventilation during installation. Both HP and HS can be installed at a moisture vapor emission rate of three pounds and at 80% relative humidity. However, HS can be applied up to 16 mils thick and used as a prime, base, and top coat. Chart two lists our part A hardeners. These are chosen based on temperature and humidity, timeline, and applicator skill level. Across the top of the chart are finish and skill level, recommended application temperature, mix ratio, and times for working, recoat, return to service, and full cure. For HS, we have two options, EZ and FC. EZ is our easiest to apply. It has a long working time and is for beginner installers and at high temperatures with low relative humidity. FC is our fast cure. 
It is for expert installers and at low temperatures with low relative humidity. Notice the difference in working, recoat, and return to service times. However, both have a full cure at seven days. Taking a look at the poly color chart. The first page has labeled color cards with all of the color options we offer for polyurethane. These colors are available in 16 ounce and one gallon color packs. We have the same color options for epoxy, polyaspartic, and polyurethane. However, the polys are not available in pre-pigmented buckets, unless specially ordered through John Don. The second page contains the general mixing guide, which has information on mixing application and mixing ratio, as well as tips on ensuring uniform color. Taking a look at the mixing ratio chart for Poly HS, across the top of the chart we have product, hit size, colorant, and mix ratio of part A, part B, and colorant. For Poly HS, there are three kit sizes. For the one and a half gallon kit, we use 16 ounces of colorant, and the mix ratio is one gallon of A, one half gallon of B, and 16 ounces of colorant. This ratio remains the same for all three kit sizes. Remember that adding colorant will reduce your working time by five minutes. There are also instructions for mixing application. Pre-measure components before combining. Add colorant to part A and mix for one to two minutes or until color is uniform. Add part B and mix for one to two minutes for a total mixing time of three minutes. There is also information on ensuring uniform color. Checking batch numbers is the best way to ensure uniform color. Near the bottom of the white label on the color pack, you'll find the batch number. Products that have the same batch number are from the same mixture or batch. It is best to use products with matching batch numbers because gloss or color can vary from batch to batch and the difference may not be visible until the product hardens. Next, we take a look at the general overview. The general overview will explain how to install the different types of applications available with polyurethane. The applications within this document are intended for more experienced installers and troubleshooting. New and beginner installers should be using the system application directions and not the general overview. Page one of the general overview is the same for poly HP and HS. It contains the mixing guide and mixing instructions for polyurethane, as well as information for on-site application testing, surface preparation, safety, and cleanup. The mixing guide reminds you to review mix ratios and to use the Cretus mixing station guide, which can be found at cretus.com under the project planning tab. Careful measurements and thorough mixing are essential for a proper cure. Observe all mixing procedures and guidelines to guarantee a controlled and thorough chemical transition to a high strength solid. The mixing guide also lists the low RPM, low torque drill and Jiffler double bladed mixer you'll need. The mixing instructions give a detailed timeline for mixing polyurethane. Mix polyurethane parts A and B only if the product names match HP with HP and HS with HS. Mix part A and B for two minutes. If adding fumed silica or matting additive, mix part A and additive for two to five minutes. Add part B and mix for two minutes. If adding metallic pigment, add to part A and mix for two to five minutes. Allow color to set for 20 minutes to 24 hours before combining with part B. Add part B and mix for one to two minutes. If adding polycolorant, mix part A and additive for two to five minutes. Add part B and mix for two minutes. If adding Cretus solvent cleaner, quartz, or anti-slip texture, mix part A and part B for two minutes. Add additive and mix for one minute. On-site application testing and surface preparation. To ensure desired results are achieved, Cretus highly recommends that the system be tested in a small area on site. Test and look for any unknown site conditions and or defects. For testing requirements, review Cretus pre and post job checklists they can be found under the Project Planning tab on the home page. Before installing any Cretus product, the substrate or slab must first be clean, profiled by mechanically preparing the surface between CSP 1 and 3, and sound by treating all termination and transition joints, pits, and random cracks. Joints and cracks may need to be expanded before treatment. Pages 2 and 3 of the general overview have detailed charts with the applications available for polyurethane. Across the top of the charts are applications in alphabetical order, product, standard kit mix ratio, methods and tools used, and coverage rate. These charts are for both Poly HP and HS. Looking at the applications for Poly HS, we have base or body coats applied with either a 5 to 7 or 8 to 12 mil squeegee and a 3 8 inch non-shed nap roller. Base coats both under and over broadcast. Pay attention to the different coverage rates over quartz sand and color chips. 
metallic prime and body coats, prime and top coats with flat flexible or flat rigid squeegees, or top coats at 8 to 12 mils, and top coats with texture. You'll notice we have multiple HS applications with texture, all including a third component, anti-slip. Either aluminum oxide 60, 80, 120, or 220, bead 50 or 100, glass 70, or tex 50, which is a combination of bead 50 and aluminum oxide 220. The different mix ratios are listed, and they can all be applied with either a flat flexible or 5 to 7 mil blade and a 3 8 inch non-shed nap roller or the dip and roll method with just the 3 8 inch non-shed nap roller. Page 4 of the general overview is a chart listing our aggregates and additives. Across the top of the chart are their use, coverage rate, and mix ratio. Additives like ESD, matting additive, fumed silica, solvent cleaner, polycolorant, and anti-slip. Aggregates like XF, F, and Q-grade quartz or industrial sand, and vinyl chips. Taking a look at the technical data sheets, or TDSs, for PolyHS, they can be found through a link on the homepage for polyurethane. There is a separate TDS for PolyHS EZ and HSFC. Selecting Polyurethane HS EZ. The technical data sheet for PolyHS EZ is a five page document with more detailed information on the technical properties of the product. Page one and two list things like advantages such as UV resistance, low maintenance, low odor, high traffic, and impact resistance. Suggested uses and applications are prime, base, and top coats in commercial, industrial, and residential projects. There is a list of compatible Cretus systems such as color chip, quartz and splash, epoxy MVR, ESD, industrial sand, top shelf metallic, and waterproof decking. The finish for Poly HS EZ is high shine when applied clear or opaque when pigmented. Some precautions and limitations. A prime coat may be required if stem walls are highly absorbent if outgassing is suspected, or if the concrete is very porous or in poor condition. All concrete repairs must be completed before installing any system. Material cures faster as temperature and humidity increase, and slower as they decrease. Application times are based on test results compiled by lab technicians in a controlled setting. All times are recorded using one quart samples. If application temperatures are outside of those recommended, contact your Cretus technical representative. Apply material when temperature is decreasing. Adhere to the Cretus dew point calculation chart available at cretus.com slash project planning. Do not apply under direct sunlight. Do not install under inclement weather conditions. It also lists the components for a standard and bulk kit. Has information on safety, testing and warranty. Consider safety conditions and wear PPE when installing. Test and look for any unknown site conditions or defects in a small area on site before installation. For the warranty to be upheld, pre and post job checklists must be completed. There is information on storage and application temperatures. The ideal storage environment is dry, out of direct sunlight, between 60 and 80 degrees Fahrenheit. The minimum substrate temperature during application is 5 degrees above dew point. There is a chart with the average application times specific to ambient temperatures. For example, if the ambient temperature at the time of application is 70 degrees with 50% relative humidity, the working time will be 30 to 45 minutes, recoat at 8 to 36 hours, return to service or foot traffic at 36 hours, and full cure or forklift traffic at 7 days. Finally, there is a reminder about surface preparation. Before installing any coating, the substrate must be sound. All necessary repairs completed, clean, dry, and free of any contaminants, moisture, materials, or particles that may hinder adhesion to the substrate. Page 3 has information on mixing and application for polyurethane HS EZ with standard kit mix ratio, measurements, and mixing instructions for optional texture and anti-slip additives. Regardless of the additive, you always mix it into Part A until color and consistency are uniform. Then add Part B and mix for 2 minutes. There are also coverage rates per standard kit. Since Poly HSEZ can be used as a prime, top, or base coat, and at varying thicknesses that all have different coverage rates, pre-measure components to make sure you are using the correct mix ratio. Combined components according to mixing instructions. Continue mixing until the coating's consistency is uniform. The coating must remain thoroughly mixed during the application. Keep a wet edge when applying the product. 
Wear spiked shoes when walking on material. At the bottom of page 3 and top of page 4, there is a chart listing some of the specific numeric values achieved by the coating when fully cured, as well as the testing methods used to determine them. Page 4 has a list of chemicals the coating might encounter. Each is assigned a number between 1 and 3 based on how well the coating will hold up to direct contact. 1 being best for chemical resistance, 2 is a low potential for stain, 3 is a high potential for stain or degradation, and NR is not recommended. Consult your client to find out any chemicals that might come in contact with the floor. If you don't see it on this list, contact your Cretus technical representative. The final set of documents we will examine is the safety data sheets, or SDSs. The safety data sheets are located on the polyurethane homepage. There are separate SDSs for poly HS part A and part B, poly HP part A and B, as well as polycolorant. Selecting poly HS part B. We are taken to the 10 page SDS for polyurethane HS part B, both EZ and FC. There are 16 numbered sections. For example, section 2 has information on hazard identification. Section 7 is handling and storage. Remember to wear disposable gloves, eye protection, and respirators. Make sure there is proper ventilation when installing. Make sure to carefully review all of the information on handling and storage. Section 13 has disposal considerations, and Section 14 has transportation information. As you can see, Poly HS Part B has no transportation regulations. Section 15 has other regulatory information, including OSHA, RCRA, and SARA. Please take time to read and understand the safety data sheets for each product as they are all different. To review some of the benefits of Poly HS, we have a high solid, high performance coating that is 10 times stronger than epoxy and provides excellent chemical resistance. It is also UV stable, waterproof and scratch resistant, which is why it works so well as a top coat with very little upkeep. It can be applied much thicker than HP, which makes it an option for both base and body coats. When you follow these instructions and it is applied correctly, you will virtually have an indestructible, long-lasting floor and very happy customers. Thank you for your interest in Cretus Polyurethane HS and all of our thoughtfully designed concrete coatings.